Okay, Wildcats, today we're looking at journal page 12, solving absolute value functions. Okay, solving. Definition of absolute value. The absolute value of x is x when x is greater than or equal to 0, and negative x when x is less than or equal to 0. This is a true piecewise function. Solving steps. Step 1, isolate the absolute value. Step 2, apply the definition. Step 3, solve. Step 4, graph the solution. Would update your notes. Okay, now your notes are updated. Let's take a look at the examples. All right, example one, solve the absolute value equation below. Okay, step one, apply the definition. So we can say that 3x is equal to 9 and 3x is equal to negative 9. And the reason being, the reason why we say this is the absolute value of a positive number is that number, and the absolute value of a negative number is that number. Okay. All right. So now we're going to solve. We're going to divide 3 by both sides. So x equals 3. Divide by 3. x equals negative 3. So we're going to graph our solution on a number line. I'm going to put a zero. That way we know the left side is negative, the right side is positive. So our solutions are negative three and three. All right, go ahead and finish up example one. All right, example two. Okay, step one is we're going to isolate the absolute value. And we didn't have to do that in example one because it was already isolated. Okay. All right, so we're going to add one to both sides, so the absolute value of x equals 4. Now we apply the definition, so x equals positive 4, x equals negative 4. So we're going to graph our solutions. All right, go ahead and finish up example two. All right, let's take a look at example three, okay? And let's go ahead and change example three because we don't want an identical example two. So let's say change it to x plus four. So let's change it to x plus four, okay? All right, first step, we're going to isolate the absolute value. So we're going to subtract four from both sides. We get the absolute value of x equals negative one. Now, the absolute value of a number will and can never equal a negative number. So, this is no solution. Okay, so when you graph the solution, there are no points on the number line. Okay, so finish up example three. All right, let's take a look at example four. All right, so first step is isolate the absolute value. So we're going to divide three by both sides. So you get the absolute value of x plus one equals three divided by three is one. Now we're going to apply the definition. So x plus 1 equals 1, x plus 1 equals negative 1. And if in your work you want to, you can actually write DEF next to that, because that's you applying the definition. So if we went back, we could actually put DEF here and here. Because that's where you're applying, the, those are, that's where you've applied the definition. Okay. All right, so let's finish example four. So we're going to subtract one from both sides, so x equals zero. Subtract one from both sides, x equals negative two. So we graph our solutions. Well, zero is a solution, so we put a dot at zero, and we put a dot at negative two. Right, go ahead and finish up example four. All right, example five. We're going to isolate the absolute value, so we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. So 
I have to evaluate x minus 1 equals 0. We're going to apply the definition. So x minus 1 equal to 0, and x minus 1 equals a negative 0. Well, we add 1 to both sides, x equals 1. We add 1 to a negative 0, x equals 1. So we only have one solution, and that solution is 1. All right, finish up example 5. All right, let's take a look at example 6. So example 6, the first step is I said isolate the absolute value. So we're going to divide by negative 1. So that's the absolute value of x plus 1 equal to negative 3. Okay, remember the absolute value of a number will never and can never equal a negative number. So that is a no solution. So there are no points on the number line. Okay. All right. So go ahead and finish up example six. And then start working on your assignment. And have a wonderful Wildcat day.